Hi, honey. We hanging out on the bed. We're gonna lower that just a little bit. All right. So, are you excited? I'm excited. Are you guys excited? Is the question. Oh. Yeah. Let you guys hop on real fast. I'm just climbing over Maya. She's a good girl, though, huh? Say yes. Yes, a uh, good girl. Is that the baby? So once you guys are on here, we're gonna get into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight packages. And I've got more coming this week. And the reason for this video is because this may help some of you guys find stuff that maybe you guys didn't think about, you know, good pricing, because I am like crazy, crazy, crazy about finding like good deals and making sure like what I'm getting is like quality. So, yeah, I know. You want your pricey? Yeah, take that. Get it. Get it. You gonna be good for me? Oh, ooh, is that a no? That might be a no. Say that might be a no. Maybe. Oh, you're you just like sped up. Thanks, bud. Whatever. That's okay. See, that's okay. That's it's just a little bit on my hand. All right. So yeah, um, this is all gonna be stuff for the dog. So service dog stuff, things that I think that you should have if you have a service dog going to be there's some baby stuff in here there are um things for my animals there are what else is there um some random things for me and again I have a lot more coming over the next like week so I'll do another video when I get the rest in so yeah that's where we're that that's where this video is going so Hi everybody, hi Fire Iron. How are you guys doing? I'm glad you guys are hopping on. I know some of y'all are probably still in school. I am totally thinking about building a cardboard for it. That is for sure. I will have, by the end of the week, I will definitely have enough boxes to do that. And like my hair is being crazy. All right, so for those of you that are just hopping on, I got a big assortment of stuff. This is not all I've got right now. I've got more coming in later in the week. So this stuff is all, you guys might find this useful if you have a dog, if you have a service dog, if you have a baby, if you got another child, mine is, my other child is five, if you've got all sorts of stuff. Liam is not here at the moment. So Liam, if everything is in later at the week, I might let Liam help me. Liam gets very sidetracked. It's really hard to do videos like this with Liam involved. It's funny, but it's very difficult to do. So Atlas is hanging out in his bumbo. Finally got a bumbo chair thanks to my stepmother. Um, it was actually my younger brother. He's just, he's turning. He's, he is three. I think he is three or anyway. Um, so it was his and she still had it. When we went to see them this past weekend, we ended up, she ended up giving us a bumbo chair. So now Atlas can sit up like a big boy. All right. So anyway, I've kind of cheated on this. I'm not going to lie. Okay. I've already kind of gotten into some of it, but, um, right now I haven't organized anything. So everything's still kind of sitting in the packaging anyway, but I wanted to show you guys, um, everything. And then when we get the rest of the stuff in, I'll show you guys that too. We're going to try not to let everything fall off the bed. Would a service dog help with drop attacks? What do you mean? We're doing good. How are you, Altoria? All right. So our first package are these two things. I actually just got this in. I'm going to throw that over there. So this is, if you have a baby, this is one of those baby items. All this is kind of mixed up, so we're going to be back and forth. Anyway, this is Baby Gannix sunscreen and insect repellent. This is just stuff for Atlas. Oh, that light is bright. This is stuff for Atlas. Um, I got this. All of this is on Amazon. This was like $16, $17 for the pack. Hi, husband. How are you? 
So we've got this and this is just organic sunblock and insect repellent for the baby. And then, so a lot of you guys that have been following me on Instagram know that I just got the uh, new uh, Apple Watch Series 6. And so this is the one that does the, uh, what is it called? Um, shoot. The ECG, it does the blood oxygen, it does the heart rate. And I also purchased a app on my phone called cardiogram it's like 25 dollars a year and it syncs everything from your apple watch to the app and then you can share all that information with your doctor and so i had a really bad medical episode um earlier in the week which if you guys follow me on instagram you saw all of that where my heart was hitting up it was actually hitting almost 180s but the photos and videos i have it was high 160s and 170s and I ended up having to like hang out at the fire department for roughly an hour. The medical episode itself lasted about two hours. My medicine wasn't working. My heart just was not dropping. I was having really bad arrhythmias and palpitations. And I've actually got a doctor's appointment tomorrow where we're going to talk about all of it because I sent all of the videos that I got into my doctor. So because of that, we went ahead and invested in this, which we already have a Verizon phone plan. So this is just adding to our monthly payment. It's not much. We didn't, I didn't purchase this outright. So, um, it also has fall detection, which I have enabled. So if something happens, I have a syncope episode and faint and fall and hit the floor and I don't respond within a certain amount of time and it responds to the prompts that it is sending me, it will automatically call 911 and it will, um, alert my emergency contacts, which is my husband and my mom. So overall good investment, good peace of mind. Maya, are you asleep? Dude, she's asleep. She's right here, but she's passed out. So anyway, with that being said, this is the rose gold, but I've actually got some cases in. So just the, prote the screen protector at Verizon was going to be like $30 for the screen protector. That wasn't even including the bumper case. And what I did was while I was standing there, I got on Amazon and looked up some, you know, the cases. I got a three pack for like 12 bucks. It's tempered glass and you know, the side casing, and I've actually already got it on. It matches the rose gold pretty spot on, and then there's a white, and then there's um, a pink that matches the band. So $12 for the bumper and tempered glass versus $30 for the tempered glass there at Verizon that they sell in store. So like I said, I love finding good deals, and that's one of them. So now I've got three cases for the watch instead of just one. So I've already, got, I already dug into this when it came in. You want that back? Or are you just gonna suck on your fingers? You suck on your fingers? Okay. This one, which if you follow me on Instagram, you have seen these. Um, so I bought these and before I tell you about them, these are actually for sale now just because I do not feel like dealing with Amazon and printing out a shipping label, going to drop it off at a drop point and everything else. So I am literally selling these for the price of purchase that I bought them on Amazon and I'm just going to ship them out if somebody wants to buy these. Um, so basically this is a cooling vest. It is $26. And I got this one because it was more lightweight. All the reviews said that it works, you know, a couple hours. Basically how these work is you wet them with water, cold water. You're going to wring them out and you put them on your dog. Depending on the temperature of the day, they'll last two to three hours. And then you just re-wet them and put them back on your dog. It helps keep your dog a lot cooler. So you got the head here, the back, and then these, uh, the bottom wraps around the stomach. That's a little too small on Maya. This is a medium. I thought she was still a medium. She's actually a large. So it's like down here is like her butt. So it's just too short on her. So I just don't feel like dealing with it and send it back to Amazon. So if somebody wants it, message me on Instagram. Inevitably, if I have to, I'll send it back to Amazon, but I really just don't feel like dealing with it. But yeah, it's just, it's a little small on her. She's grown. It's also the same issue that I had with the shoes. Kind of, anyway. The shoes, um, I was looking at the reviews, and all of the reviews were saying that the shoes, which these are the shoes, it's $22 for the shoes. Um, these are a size small. 
So all the reviews were saying that the shoes were larger than the sizing chart was. So I went off of that based on the reviews and I got a size small instead of a size medium. I'm gonna say the reviews were pretty accurate because Maya's feet are not gonna fit these. Like I pulled it out. Like I literally pulled one shoe out and I was just like, yeah. So um, I would say the sizing is accurate. I feel like people are thinking like toy breeds and they're buying a size small for their like Pomeranian and they're coming in absolutely massive and huge. Um, so the sizing is 1.75 to two inch. Um, Maya is definitely gonna be more of a medium, which is gonna be the, um, She'll either be a medium or a large, which is 1.75 to 2.25 for a medium, and large is 2.25 to 2.75. I already reordered a new pair, um, but if anybody wants these, message me on Instagram. Or, yeah, message me on Instagram. Because, again, I just don't feel like screwing around with Amazon. I hate sending stuff back to Amazon. But I will have these for a week or so before I finally just say whatever and send them back. But if you want those, there's that. What's going on? I'm seeing a lot of people saying stop. <laughs> Maya does need stilettos, absolutely. <laughs> See, here in Alabama, like, y'all can tell, like, I'm literally, like, I'm sunburnt right now because we went to the zoo yesterday. And Alabama weather, it gets so hot. It's already hitting the 90s, and we're not even into summer yet. And so, like, when we're out and about, especially, like, yesterday, Maya was panting so hard. It didn't matter how much water I gave her. It didn't matter how much um, we took a break, which I had to take a break. Oh my lorsh. Oh my lorsh. All right, we are just gonna hide the user. And we're gonna put the user in timeout. All right, should, can that help? We're not gonna sit here and spam everything. Y'all are aggravating everybody else. What am I doing? Why do I feel like I hit the wrong person? Okay, I think I hit the wrong person. <laughs> All right, whatever. Anyway, um, yeah, I realize that. I'm sorry. You're unhit and give it a second. You'll be un but you'll be out of timeout in a second, Allie. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I apologize. It's only 300 seconds. Give it a second. So anyway, I'm gonna have to wait until it pops back up. There we go. There they are. We are gonna. All right. Did that work, you guys? I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Are they gone? Let me know if they're gone. Maya is a staffy, so American Staffordshire Terrier, German Shepherd, Chow Chow, Mixed Mutt is what she is. Okay, cool. Oh, blah, 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 blah. I'm not gonna cry, are you? They know not. They probably will. All right. Okay, so the next thing, this is actually for my tortoise. So, Tort, my Sulcata tortoise that I have, um, has a new enclosure coming in, and that will be in probably this weekend. And so, oh, it's your buddy. Anyway, um, I'm buying some new stuff to do his new enclosure with and so i got sphagnum moss on amazon and this is just gonna help hold a little more moisture so that's all that's in this box is sphagnum moss so i'm gonna mix that with the eco earth which is in one of these boxes maya just turned one so that is gonna be mixed in with eco earth for uh the new enclosure Oh, absolutely. My thoughts are going to you, Olivia. Yeah, tor our tortoise is literally, we don't know if it's a boy or a girl, and uh, it needed a name, so tort. And Atlas is five months old. And Maya just turned one. Welcome all to the Tom Show. Y'all enjoy her family in the country. Oh, thank you, Altoria. So, anyway, um, the sphagnum moss... I feel like the prices on sphagnum moss, moss and all of that are probably the same. I did get a good deal on the Eco Earth though, um, from what I was seeing online. Okay, so here's dog stuff. 
you guys actually already saw me post a picture. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw me post a picture of this. So I've actually got three things in this box here. So I posted a picture of this on Instagram. So Maya, I got her some sunglasses because like yesterday we were at the zoo, you know, UV rays, they hurt us, they burn us, they make us hot, they, you know, burn our eyes. They're going to do the same thing to our dogs. So if we've got, you know, a service dog that is working constantly, you're out on a hike or whatever, sunglasses protect their, protect their eyes. It's just as important as it is for ours. Now there is a company that sells uh, sunglasses called Doggles, but they are like really expensive, but it's one main frame like this. That you put on i had this these same pair right here for max except i had them in blue and these are like nine bucks on amazon and it does the same thing of course you know you're training your dog to ignore it and leave it alone but i got maya a pair in pink max would wear his um i threw them on maya for a moment when you buy these and you put them on your dog do not put them on your dog inside Okay, because then your dog's not going to be able to see and your dog's not going to like it and your dog's going to try pawn it off and then you're automatically going to have a bad experience cor correlated with the sunglasses. So if you get these, bring your dog outside and put them on outside and do some training and make your dog do a bunch of stuff to where they can't focus on the sunglasses. But don't put them on inside because your dog's not going to wear them inside. Your dog's going to say, screw this. And your dog's going to say, I can't see and they're not going to want to wear them. But these work just as well as the more expensive doggles. <laughs> I love you guys. So, yeah, got these for Maya. Oh, yes. People go crazy as it is when they see a dog with boots. And, like, I remember with Max when he'd have his sunglasses on. Oh, my God, he's got boots and sunglasses on. It draws more attention, which sucks. But at the same time, you kind of got to deal with it, especially, like, if you're outside because... We gotta, like, protect them, you know? What are you doing? Are you gagging yourself? Why do you do that? Another thing I got, this was, like, 10 bucks, roughly. And it's called uh, the Nestorito Washable Something Dog Self-Cooling Mat. So, this was, like, 10 bucks. And that's pink. So, anyway, Maya... Most dogs in general, I feel like you have a lot of dogs that don't like laying on the cold floors. They don't like, you know, they get cold or they get too hot, whatever. Um, I don't know how cooling this is. I don't really care about the cooling factor. For me, it's more just having something for her to lay on. It's not large. She's going to have to tuck to lay on it, you know, but it was 10 bucks. It's got mesh. It's supposed to be like a breathable, you know, so it's kind of got like this mesh on the bottom, but... I've got, um, I ordered a new bag because the bag I have is, it works, the purse I have now, but, um, what I'm wanting to do is compact everything. Like I want to be able to put baby diapers and everything else in one bag along with my medical stuff and the extra stuff for Maya without having to have multiple bags because carrying all these bags just aren't working. Like I'm just not, I'm not here for it at all. So I've got a new bag coming in. That'll probably be in like this weekend. So I'll go live again and I'll show you guys how I'm doing everything, how I'm organizing everything and how I'm making it work. Whether you're just a service dog handler, or whether you're a service dog handler and a mom. So anyway, they have larger sizes on this. They have smaller sizes. So there are different sizes that you can buy. Um, and if you guys are interested in something, Y'all can just message me on Instagram and I can send you guys the link for the exact item. Um, but yeah, so they have smaller and larger sizes. I think, yeah, this is the large. So this is the large. Um, but I think there's like an extra large. So anyway, what I'm going to do is I've actually got some little clear bags coming in. It's like a pack of like six, I think. And they're just clear zipper bags that I'm going to use to stick into the bigger purse that I got. That way I can have one clear bag with diapers and baby wipes, another clear bag with like my nursing cover and like an extra change of clothes, another clear bag with like this in it. So we're going to have this folded up stuffed in one bag. And then if I need a second bag, it'll have her shoes, her sunglasses. So I'm going to have everything organized inside the big bag so that I'm not like digging around, throwing it around. But again, I'll show you guys more about that when everything comes in. 
Yeah, I am like, I go crazy if like my purse, if I have to dig around for everything. Stop gagging yourself, buddy. Why? Um, I can't, I can't. Like it needs to be organized. And we, right now we have a big diaper bag. I have my purse and then everything extra for Maya, like it's just, it's not working. So one big bag with everything organized inside. My heart rate right now is 87 right now. I'm actually good right now. <clears throat> but I've also had three bags of fluids. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you also have seen that where I had uh, an IV set the other day and I've actually ran three bags of fluids um, since I had that medical episode. So I'm feeling a lot better right now. Yes, what is it? So the other thing I got, this was like 15 bucks. But I feel like this is more convenient. Let me tell you why. So, Maya has a collapsible water bowl. But I'm still carrying around a water bottle. So, I, not only do I have a collapsible water bowl, I have a water bottle I'm carrying around. <laughs> Hi. Hello. 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 Hi. Yay. So, I found this. And we haven't used it yet. But I love the idea of it. So they also have it in blue. So if you want to get blue, you can get blue. And they have a darker blue and a lighter blue and then this, which is the rose. So this is the water bowl, okay? So you take it off, you fill it up, you screw it back on. And yes, it's a water bowl. It's a water bottle and a water bowl. It flips up right here and it turns into a water bowl. You squeeze as you squeeze the straw sucks it and pushes it up so you're pushing water into it as you squeeze so your dog is only good Allie I'm glad you're out of timeout sorry about that um so your dog you're only pushing out what you want for your dog to drink while your dog's drinking it reduces how much you're wasting and I'm able to refill this as much as I want it's a water bowl and a water bottle and I can literally I get a carabiner and I can clip this to the side of my purse or put it in one of the uh, side pockets of like the water bottle pockets or I can just carry it on my wrist or whatever I want to do yes everything on here is from Amazon this was like 15 bucks but again we have a collapsible water bowl but I'm always having to carry an extra water bottle <laughs> So, this I just felt like was eliminating that, like, having to carry multiple things. And instead of having two items, I'm having one item and I'm not having to just, like, throw the water bottle in the bag and then open up a bag and then pull the water bottle out. I can have this clipped to the outside of the bag with the carabiner. Unclip the carabiner. Voila. Access immediate. So. Happy birthday, Olivia. Atlas is five months old. You guys, guess what he did? Oh my God, I forgot to tell you guys. I posted about it on Instagram. But guess what he did two days ago? I think it was two days ago. So like, I'm so excited. Can you guess? Can you guess? All right, we're done with this bag. Oh, good job, Voltoria. I'm still like hesitant on getting the vaccination. <laughs> Did he speak? No. Yes, Lily, he rolled over. He finally rolled over. He's so happy. He did it twice. No, he's not talking yet. Well, he's mimicking us. So, like, we've talked. And I've literally looked at him and said, you're cute. And he looked at me and mimicked me and said, you're cute. Clear as day. But that's not him speaking. He's not actually talking. It was just mimicry. So, babies mimic. And so we've had moments where we say something and he has mimicked us, but he's not actually talking. It wasn't actually his first word. It was just chance, pretty much. Okay, we went through that box. So this box, what you doing? Oh yeah, this is so interesting, you guys. It's a um, uh, pressure sprayer. Yep. You pump, you fill it with water, you pump this, you hit the button, and it sprays water. <laughs> Literally. This is for Tort's new enclosure so that I can keep everything wet a little better and just make it easier. But that's all that is. That ain't nothing 
special. Maya actually did good at the zoo. So this was her second time to the zoo. Um, we had a couple of moments of whining, but it was corrected, refocused and training, got her to stop. Um, the main issue was when we were in front of the otter. The otter loves the dogs. Like whenever we go and there's dogs, the otter freaks out. And so the otter is in, it's a full screen like water. So the otter, you know, is like in front of you, like up here swimming and flips and like shoot back and forth. Maya got a little excited, like wanting to play because she, the otter was actually trying to play with her. And so, um, that was the worst part of it. But she wasn't, do she wasn't jumping. She wasn't, you know, going crazy. She was sitting. Oh, she was sitting in place, listening. She was just kind of whining, getting a little excited. So we had to refocus and train. But, you know, Max was kind of the same way when we start first started going to the zoo. And so it's just a training process. She wasn't being completely disruptive. And again, I was correcting her. So I'm not just letting her sit there and do it and get away with it, you know? And that's, of course, the difference that you're going to see between fake service dogs, service dogs in training, and legitimate service dogs. Service dogs aren't perfect. Perfect. A fake service dog, nobody's going to be correcting. They're just going to let the dog do whatever it wants. With a service dog in training, you're going to see the handler trying to correct. I hope my children do not have to have a service animal. I really, really do. That It's not, it's not a fashion accessory or anything like that. Yeah, he is. He's getting sleepy. And so um, I hope to God that they don't have to. I know, right? His first word better be mama. He's already mimicked Austin and said dad, dad, or daddy. Oh, I forget how he did it, but he said dad. And uh, it was like, dad. I think that was all it was, was dad. But, and Austin's always, are you always, he said daddy first. And I'm just like, he mimicked, doesn't count. But anyway, we're gonna go to the next box right here. So this is the Eco Earth, which I feel like was a decent deal. I think it was like six or seven bucks for a three pack. So it's three blocks in here and everything else that I was looking at on Amazon, it was like a lot more expensive. I ended up just getting two. I feel like I might have to order a third one for the new enclosure, but basically this, um, I'll show you. Oh, that's, this stuff is not, this is kind of heavy. So anyway, I've got two and uh, we're going to mix this with the sphagnum moss in uh, the new enclosure that Tort's getting, but I might have to buy another one. But if you're going to buy Eco Earth, look for the blocks on Amazon because I feel like it was literally like six or seven bucks for each uh, bo block and there, you know, there were three blocks in each pack. So um, I felt like that was a pretty good deal. Okay. Maya's just back here. She's got to sleep. Um, what's in this box? Okay. Here's some more tortoise stuff. Um, so Torts, you know, get a little bigger. So I had to get him a new hide because the two he has are like half this size. And so he's starting to get too big for him. So I got him this. It was like 15 bucks. And honestly, um, these are literally like the same price in the pet store. There really wasn't a price difference. Well, I don't know. This one, because this one's a larger, the pet stores might be a little more expensive for this size. So it actually ended up being a lot bigger than I thought it was going to come in because reviews, people were saying that they were smaller and it actually ended up being bigger. Nope, this is just stuff that I bought. So it's not a wish list. It's not Amazon sending me the stuff. This is literally stuff that I've, I've just bought. But uh, Amazon, if you want to sponsor me, <laughs> go ahead. Um... Anyway, I don't actually have a wish list or anything that I, I share publicly. The only thing, I've got like stuff all over the bed now. Um, the only wish list I've ever shared was um, the baby registry when we were having the baby. So this was like six or seven bucks. These are paint rollers, okay? But I thought they were going to be a little smaller. So anyway, they're paint rollers. Why the heck do I need paint rollers, right? Well, I bought them for the tortoise. This is more than seven. I thought it was a seven pack. Whatever. Anyway, I bought them for the tortoise to use as a water bowl. At least that was the plan, was a water bowl. So basically the plan was, you know, you'd put it in, the dirt would be under here, and it would give him 
Whoa. A slope to climb in, climb down, and soak, and climb out. Well, they're slightly larger than I thought, so I might have to, like, cut it down a little bit. But this is to have a bigger water bowl for him that he can climb into and soak in. But, I don't know, I'm going to have to mess around with them. He'll probably use them at some point for sure, but I think I'm just going to have to cut them to size. Um, is that everything in this one? No, nope, that's not everything. And then this, I think, is like 10 bucks, roughly. It's pretty much like a piece of slate. So, this is like a rock. Um, basically, this is for the new enclosure for the tortoise. And this is just a basking spot for him. So, the temperature in the enclosure he's in is fine, temperature-wise, but the new enclosure is going to be bigger. And so, um, I don't know if I'm able to open this, but the new enclosure is going to be bigger. So, I went ahead and got a basking rock just to make sure the temperatures were going to stay where they needed to stay. And it's almost like a coaster. Like, it's literally got coaster feet, um, like, for drinks and stuff. But it's like a slate rock. And so... We're just going to put that in. That way, there's a, um, uh, goodness, I can't think, basking area that he can warm up on better. Um, and then, oh, this is a, open all the way. Liam is with his dad right now. So all of this is actually kid stuff. Um, you're getting so mad. So this is for Liam. It's called Bobo and Boo. It's a bamboo dinnerware set for kids. Um, I forget how much this was. I want to say it was like 20. But anyway... This is for Liam. So, it's like, it's supposed to be bamboo. Like, there's a, um, cup. Yes, what is it? There's a spoon and a fork. A bowl. And a plate. So, this is just for Liam to have his own little set. You don't mad. Oh, how do I get this back in there? There we go. And look, it's got a smiley face. Woohoo! Yay! You're not gonna yell at me. You're not gonna yell at me. No, you're not. Hi. Hi. You ready to go? Wow! It's you. Ready? Wow! It's you. Hi. Wow! It's you. Wow! What's you doing? You're so dumb. You're so dumb. Go, wow! It's you. There we go. Boom! Boom! There. No! Boom! Smiley, smiley. Ready? Ready? Go. Wow! We're not gonna cry. We're not gonna cry. No, we're not. We're, we're not gonna cry. No, we're not. No, we're not. Hi. Ready? Go boom, 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 boom. Pew, 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 pew. <gasps> okay. No, I'm not selling all this stuff. The only things I was selling was um, the cooling vest and the dog shoes. Just because I don't feel like sending them back to Amazon. Um, was these. And this just because I don't want to mess with it. Um, the rest of this is just stuff I got that I just wanted to share with you guys because a lot of this stuff I got like good deals on. A lot of it's like kid and uh, service dog stuff. And so I feel like a lot of you guys are service dog handlers. Y'all could benefit from the knowledge. And a lot of you have kids. And so maybe you haven't thought about an item. And now you have because I showed you the item. And so, it's really just a way for us to hang out. Me show you some guys some stuff that I found that I think is, like, a great thing to have. And then, if you guys want the, like, same items, y'all can, like, message me and I'll send you the link. 
All right, so the rest of this stuff, so that was for, that's for Liam. The rest of this stuff in here is for Atlas. So um, the Bumbo here, there's a tray that you can buy separately and like it clips on and it's like a little white tray. And um, I got that, that'll be in sometime this week. And um, they have like activity sets that you can buy to like set on top of the tray. But let's just be honest, the Bumbo seat is already like 50 to $60. Thank God that my like stepmom, oh, my stepmom and my dad gave us uh, their old one so that we didn't have to do that. The, the tray for it is $25. And so it's not, their activity sets, I didn't even look at the prices because they're so like, the prices are so ridiculous. But my stepmom had a wonderful idea. So when that tray comes in, my stepmom was like, get silicone like the suction toys we already have one and so this is another suction toy so the bottom it literally you just push it on to the, the plastic tray and it suctions and so when um the tray comes in i can suction the toy and atlas can be in it and he can just spin it and not have to worry about like the toy flying off having to pick it up it'll be suction and he can like spin it and we have another one this is uh, i got him this one on amazon too so that was a good, if you have a kid and you have the Bumbo seat, I think the Bumbo, um, even though I didn't have to buy this one, now that I've had it and we've been using it, I think, I, I don't know why I didn't buy one to begin with. I guess it was because ultimately my dad and my stepmom were going to give me theirs. Um, Liam's first word was bye-bye. And so... Um, I think it's a great investment, but the activity sets that they have that are going to go on, it's also overpriced. I can get, this was a $10 toy and voila, you know, like save a lot of money there. So I think it's a great investment. So you can get it, get the tray and then just find you some suction toys that you can add to the tray. The next thing is because Atlas is about to be starting actually eating food, which I had started giving him some quinoa which is like a type of seed and I'm always cooking it. And I started doing that it's about like a week and a half ago. And uh, just to try to see, cause he's been showing interest and want to eat with us. He's not actually eating it and I haven't, I've only given it to him like twice. Um, cause he's still pushing out with his tongue. So he's not quite, quite there. So I'm giving him a break for a couple weeks and then, um, we're going to go back to it. He'll be six months, which I knew he wasn't really going to be eating it. It was more of like just training until he turned six months old, but it, so we're not even there at all. So we're just holding off. But when he starts, I got him this. It's a silicone bib. This is the brand Mushy. And this one, they've got a bunch of different colors and stuff, which I love. But this one's got rocket ships, which, you know, Atlas is, um, we named him from Greek mythology, from the god Atlas. And he is the god or the titan, whatever, that holds the world on the shoulders but he is also believed to be um, one of the first astronomers. And so it's uh, there, there's a whole space theme with Atlas's name. And so I got rocket ships. And so there's a bunch of other colors, but it'll catch the food. Easy to clean because we all we gotta do is wipe it off. Yeah, woohoo, woohoo. He's getting so mad. We've got two items left. <laughs> You want dance? You want dance? Yes, go. No, give me five minutes. Five minutes. Um, the other thing I got was this. It's called a tiny cup. It's an infant training cup. So, like, it's a little bitty and it's a little silicone cup. And so, instead of doing like bottles and sippy cups, I would much rather just teach him how to drink out of a regular cup. And so, that's what this is. This little silicone. It's got a weighted base and tactile bumps to try to keep it from, like, falling over and stuff. Anyway, got this. It's cute because, you know, he's starting to eat food. Well, about to. And then I got this. It's called the Tiny Bowl. And so this is going to go on his high chair. I didn't get a plate because, let's be honest, he's not going to be eating three-course meals. I'm going to be doing baby lead weaning with him. He's not going to be eating, like, three-course meals where he needs, like, a plate divider. So I didn't get a plate divider. This is for the beginning, you know, him starting to eat baby food. And I haven't even pulled this out yet. Oh, so 
know, this will um, silicone yes. or suction, whatever, onto his um, high chair. And it's just got a little bowl. I can put his food in, and he can be able to learn to reach in, grab the food, and put it in his mouth. And then he will have his little tiny cup to drink the water out of while he eats. He is still breastfed, but I'm not going to put breast milk in his cup. We're just going to do water. Because I wish I would have done that with Lamb. Lamb drinks water good now. But when he was little, we had a hard time getting him to drink water. And so, I'm going to start Atlas. Instead of doing juices, we're going to do water. So, blah, 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 blah. And that's it. Um, if you guys liked this, I will do it again at the end of the week when the rest of the stuff comes in that I've got. And we can go through all of that. But if you guys saw anything that you like, let me know. Can we scoot up here? you're mad at the world are people fighting and arguing no no i'll cut you off i'll put you in timeout end it now i don't want to see any con i'm not even going to go back and read it so i don't want to see it no more okay cool uh, um okay well, maybe i do need to go back and read it then Um, ah, oh, Cajun Bama. That's my mama. Hey, mama. Uh, so somebody says, let's see, Israel Garcia says, were you born with the problems you have now or did, like, something happen? You know, it's really hard to know for sure. So, like, with my dysautonomia, which is my medical problems, um, I started having issues with it when I was, like, 14. So, basically, with dysautonomia, it can be an onset from puberty certain sometimes certain kind of like brain injuries can cause stuff um they've actually got a new thing now saying like covid um people that had covid um are showing uh are, are getting diagnosed with pots which is a form of dysautonomia that's what i have and um so there, there's different things that it's hard to know was it something that i was susceptible to from birth or was there something that happened in my life that would have triggered it um with that said now, my brother has a chronic illness. He has EOE, which basically his esophagus eats itself. And then my mom has got a lot of issues, and they are about to start testing my mom for a lot of stuff. I'm not going to, like, disclose what they're about to start testing her for and all that because, again, we don't know for sure what's going on with my mom. But my mom's having a lot of issues, and um, they think that she could have... I, actually, I'm not going to say anything. Anyway, my mom has a lot of issues. They're about to start testing her for a bunch of stuff. And some of that is chronic illness related. So, we're going to leave it at that. And so, there's a possibility that this stuff could be kind of in my family on my mom's side. And that something's just going on and it's passing along. But, um, what time is it? Apparently, my heart jumped. Is it bad I'm still learning how to watch this darn watch? I need to like adjust it because I can't figure out how to get to the time setting. Oh, 444. Apparently. Some, I just got an alert that my heart had went over. It, I have it set for an alert alert when my uh, heart goes over 120 and I just got an alert for it. Um, yeah, it's 444 for me. So that just happened. Um, so yeah, there's, it's, it's hard to tell. Now with my PTSD, Post-traumatic stress disorder is something that comes from something you go through. Um, so, you're not born with it. It's trauma that happens in your life. Um, but with the medical stuff and, like, my hypoglycemia, um, that was probably something I was born with um, because I didn't have issues with it when I was, like, a little kid like that. But I started having issues with my blood sugar. I was probably, like, 15. Um some people just develop issues. Um, I've always been anemic ever since I was little. I've been anemic, so low iron levels. Um, and then I have a joint issue, and that is the joint issue we know we trace back all the way back to when I was a kid. Um, so it's just it's a mess. It's a mess of stuff. Some of the stuff can be triggered. Some of it can be you're predisposed to get when you're older. Some of it you're just born with, and it it's it's hard to. Say for sure what's what. There's your butter butter boo.
and bushy as a mat. Ooh, dear mat. Ooh. And you're feeling warm again. He, I think, is starting to tease you guys. Oh, Bailey Bachman, 499 Super Chat. Thank you so much. They say enjoy. Look, I don't, yeah, they say they enjoy. Ooh, there's sirens going by the house. Um, a compilation. Oh my gosh, I need to. I should like just do a fake service dog compilation video with all the videos. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, I had a phone call. Uh, let's see, Delal. Al, a, yeah, thank you so much for the super chat. All right, sorry guys, again, I was on a phone call. Um, all right, what are we saying? I know, I can't believe he's five months either. Um, but yes, anyway, I think he's starting to teeth because he's been, he hasn't been running like a fever, like it's been like 99s, um, but he's been getting a little warm and he's been chewing and I think we're gonna have some bottom teeth coming in soon, huh? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Uh, maybe, mm, one day maybe, they go. Hi, Allie. Yeah. So he's just been really fussy, even though he just woke up from a nap. He's just mad at the world. He said, we've been yelling. Oh, and we've been going through a growth spurt. He went into size one diapers roughly like three weeks to a month ago. And then about like a week, week and a half ago, he went into size two diapers. And then yesterday, we went into size three diapers. Size three diapers. So we're growing a lot. And we're starting to fit the three to six month clothes. And we're just getting big, big, big. We're getting big, big, big. So we're just mad and cranky and, and angry at the world. Yeah. They were angry at the world. Wow. Okay. So yeah, he's like, y'all, he is not a little bitty four pound baby anymore. Like, can you even? Like, look at him. He is not, uh, Maya's a pillow right now. They were getting big. Oh, yeah. They were getting big. Whoa. They're big boy. They, I'm a big boy now. Whoa. Ready? Ready? Go. Wow. Okay. I'm done playing with him. He is. He's getting so big. He's so big, so big, so big, so big, so big. He's so big, so big, so big. I forget what we were talking about. I really do. I forget what we were talking about completely. <laughs> Well, how soon is my anxiety? Are we talking like general or like medications or like service dog tasks? Because there's, there's things. Go bitch. If I missed any questions or anything, y'all just comment them again. What was that noise? Oh, those were probably my chickens. Yeah, Liam's first word was bye-bye. They were so mad. This is what I have to do now, like for the past week or so, because he's been so fussy. He had a nap recently, so it's not necessarily that he's tired. He's just like, we just gotta, yeah, see, yeah, we gotta keep entertained. We gotta keep him entertained. Maya is a American Staffordshire Terrier, Chow Chow, German Shepherd mix. How many animals do you have? Nine. Let's see. Fourteen? Something like that, yeah. What is that noise? Oh my god. I hear a mouse. I really hope whatever that is is outside. No, it's a squeak. That's definitely a mouse. I used to have mice because I bred my mice to feed my snakes when I had my animal room. I definitely hear a mouse. I just hope it's outside because the porch is right here. Like I'm on an outside wall and underneath us is a really, really big crawl space. And so I really hope it's outside. <laughs> oh yeah, the heartbeat thing. That is uh, his little sound soother for bedtime but no I hear a mouse <laughs> the 
Liam is with his dad. <laughs> you good? Yeah? You okay? All right, he laughed. Uh, yeah, we'll do a fake service dog compilation at some point. He is. He's such a happy baby when he's not, like, hurting from a gross bird and teething at the same time. Hi, Adley. Boom, boom, boom. Ready? Go. Up. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> How do I calm down easily from a panic attack? Um, it depends. Um, I, I can't take my medication at the moment, but, um, I was on a medicine. So if I was a really bad panic attack, I would take my medication. Um, and then for the most part, it's my half in a task and time just happened to go by. There's no easy way. It, it depends on the severity. Some are really mild. Some are really severe. Um, sometimes I can get over it pretty quick. Other times... It might take you 30 minutes. Wow, say that boy, you're so mad. What do I do when people are mean in the comments? I delete them. Hey, that's what we do. We make them go bye bye. Hi. 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 Hello. Hello. <laughs> He's so mad. He's so mad as you are. He sleeps really well. He he sleeps through the night, other than waking up to nurse, and except when he's like gross, spurt and sore. Um, but he sleeps through the night unless we're eating, which I do a lot of dream feeding. So most of the time, he actually sleeps through the night without waking up because I'll nurse, I'll put him to bed, and then in the middle of the night, um, we have a co sleeper attached to the bed over here. And in the middle of the night, I will scoot him over and I will nurse him while he's asleep. And then when he finishes, I'll put him back. And that's called dream feeding, where you just, you barely wake them up. They're pretty much still asleep, but you wake them up just to nurse enough for them to nurse. And then they go back to sleep. And, you know, you move them back over. And it actually um, helps them sleep longer. Because most of the time they wake up because they're hungry. And um, then we'll wake up in the morning, usually, say around like 6 or 7. Which I usually do the dream feed around like midnight or 1. And then um, around 6 or 7, sometimes 5, depending on the night, um, we'll wake up again and we'll nurse again. And then usually we can lay back down for another hour or two, depending on what time he woke up to nurse again. And so sometimes we go ahead and get right back up. And then he'll take a nap, usually an hour to two hours after he wakes up, he's ready to go back down and take another nap. And then, I want to say closer to two hours. And then we'll, his nap will be about an hour. And then we will wake back up and we'll be awake for a little bit. And then usually around six o'clock, which I think it's, yeah, it's 4.57. Um, usually around six o'clock, we're ready for our second nap. And then we'll do that for usually about 30, sometimes 45 minutes. And then, yes. And then we wake back up and we're usually, say you're usually in bed, bed by like nine, 10 o'clock. So he might go down for his second nap early. Oh, is that big? So 
Yeah, his nap time, his schedule, it just, it depends. Yeah. Okay. Maya is back there behind me. Here you go. Okay. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm about to hop off of here because we're going on an hour on a live. So, did you guys like this? Do you want me to do this again when I get more packages in in the week? When they drain feed, it's just, I don't know. They just don't choke. Um, I really don't know how they don't. I guess it's because it's a supple response. So, they're not like drinking water. There's, you know, a nipple in their mouth that's filling the majority of their mouth and then they're just swallowing. So, I guess somehow it keeps them from choking. Now, if he drinks too much too fast, he will choke a little bit. But he just pops off, coughs, and goes back to nursing. So... Yes. Okay, cool. Awesome. I will do it again then since you guys seem to enjoy it. But, um, but yeah. All right, you guys. So I'm going to hop off here and go take care of this kitty. Does it hurt? In the beginning, when you start nursing, it does. Um, just because there's so much friction from the, their mouth latching and in the beginning until you get your body gets used to it it does hurt and your milk is also coming through so it makes you swell up really bad but after the first couple of weeks it doesn't hurt except for when he bites when he bites it does hurt but other than that it really doesn't hurt so it's more of a relief when he empties the milk out versus anything but it does hurt when he bites um he's just got gums right now and he started biting over the last couple of weeks so that's another reason i think that he's um starting to teeth is because he's starting to chomp down on me and so it's really gonna hurt when his teeth come in though that is definitely gonna hurt so but anyway i love you guys and we'll see you guys later bye